Hey, let me help. I can manage. I know where it all goes. So does he. He used to live here once upon a time, remember? Looks like we're in everyone's bad books. There is no we, Todd. It was a stupid mistake. I know you don't mean that. Oi. I hope you didn't end up down here. Of course not. I wouldn't put it past either of them. See you later, Anne. See you. I know I said you could stay last night, but now you've got to go. Why? Because it's my house. It's already like a B and B without having any more bodies in the living room. Thanks for putting me up, Eileen. No, Marcus, wait. Get off me. Well, it can't be any plainer than that. Dad. Wonders if I want to meet on Friday. What, does that mean? I don't know. Says want to meet on Friday. Do you mind? What? Scratching yourself. It's the height of bad manners in company. I had an itch and I got fleas. Yeah, well, I'll chill out, Mum. I could do with a lot less armpit at the breakfast table first thing. Sorry. Yeah, I'll go and get dressed. Not going to finish your breakfast. Don't really like boiled eggs. For a homeless person, you're a very fussy eater. Mum, what is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm not the one sleeping in somebody else's house and eating someone else's food and sitting on the sofa watching the telly all day. For one of the members of so-called Broken Britain, she has a life of Riley. Yeah, your mum's right. Oh, yeah, look who's talking. Sophie. Actually, I was just about to ask your mother if she would like to accompany moi to Le Bistro tonight. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, what are you going to do now, Tim? Propose? I'm not. Good. Hmm. Kirk said Maria's in bits. Yeah, I tried bringing her this morning, but she's not picking up. I'm going to go and see her at lunchtime. I thought we were going to see Roy at lunchtime. Oh, Try and prize him away from his train oh, set. Oh, yeah. I don't know now, Chess. Morning. Come to get me van. Well, I haven't had a chance to do it. Eh? I need it. Well, I've told you it's not finished. I'll call you when it is. Blimey, talk about service with a smile. I've only got one pair of hands. Yeah. Don't ask me. Well, I'll go see Roy in a bit. You just worry about Maria, yeah? Sounds like she's going to need her friends. Thank you. See you in a bit. In a bit. You should have seen their faces when we walked in. Well, it sounds like you saw more than their faces. Oh. Oh. Uh, morning, sweetheart. Don't stop on my account. What were you talking about, the weather? Where are you going on your holidays? Oh, come on, no, don't be like that. Let me make you a brew. Oh, great, yeah, because a cup of tea is going to make everything better, isn't well, it? Well, a coffee, then. I'll get it. Kettle's just boiling. Sorry, love, sorry. Um, did you sleep all right? What do you think? Hiya. Hi. I've, uh, just spoke to the locksmith. All right. Are you having the locks changed? Yeah, that's all right, innit? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. What time's he coming? About an hour. It's a she, actually. Oh, really? Gosh, that's a new one on me. Huh? What's this? I'm just saying, Lady Locksmith. It's so unusual. Oh, I love that album they did with Paul Simon. Uh, I often listen to it when I'm doing the ironing. Oh, are you sure it's absolutely necessary, darling? I'm done with the Marjorie. It's made his choice. I thought you might be working. No, 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 not today. Excuse me. Do you like a cup of tea? Uh, cheers, yeah. <laughs> it is pretty impressive. Yeah, more so when it's switched on. Yeah, I'll bet. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, I'm going to go and see her at dinner. I hope she's okay. Todd's played us all for a mug, me included. You never thought it was gonna last between Max and Maria anyway. Of course they didn't. You know what they say, bye now, gay later. Oh, that's not fair. He loved her, he really did. So, I love you, but I don't want to play doctors and nurses with you. Eva, can I have a word? Oh, 
isn't it? Funny seeing you in here. I feel all discombobulated. Yeah. It's like when you're at school and you see a dog in the playground. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean no. You look really nice. Fetch the biscuits. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, I just had Kevin on the phone. He's coming back on Friday. So, what is expecting to be back into the house? What? Oh, yeah. Well, we can't just chuck us out. Well, he said he sent us notice weeks ago. What are we going to do? On our second Christmas together, Haley brought us breakfast in bed. On the tray was a cracker, which we pulled, and out fell this little chap. It's a weird thing to come out of a cracker. Yeah. Well, not... Not if your wife knows how much you love railways and has spent the previous day hunting for this figure carefully undoing the cracker and reassembling it. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Oh, that was Haley. I never had that knack of getting someone the perfect gift. That year, I got a, a box of Turkish Delight and some new insoles for her walking shoes. <laughs> yes, that, that was exactly her reaction when she saw the insoles. You know, when I was a kid, I used to get upset about something. I'd lock myself away in my room with Michael and talk to him like I'm talking to you now. It always made me feel better. Did it? Right, you can't lock yourself away forever. I had Fizz and Kirk and you and Ailey. You gave me a reason to face the world, and not just that, but you all let me know that you wanted me around. I mean... How much time can you actually spend stuck in a room talking to something that can't even talk back? Thanks, Kirk. What are brothers for? Hiya. Can we talk? I think we're a bit past that, don't you? Although, I did just have your mum on the phone about half an hour ago. I told her what's been going on with you. She was quite surprised, actually. I thought, well, you can imagine how I'm feeling, love. You told my mum? Oh, and I've changed the locks and all. Your clothes are in that bag and some of the toys you bought Liam are in the other. Oh, here she is. It's very sweet of you to give him a bed for the night. Nothing to do with me. Yeah, not much. Did him and your Todd cuddle up on the pull-out sofa or did you give him your bed? Oi, do have a go at Eileen. This is my fault and no one else's. Just leave it, hey. Maria, let's get you up to the flat. Why, in case I make a fool out of myself? What? I mean, that ship sailed, don't you? What on earth's going on now? Todd made a fool out of me and all, you know. Oh, please. You had a pathetic crush on him. I was planning the rest of my life with Marcus. You pardon me for caring. Now, Maria, come on, let's get inside. Why? I've done nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, well, this is doing you no good, Maria. Come I on. I never want to see you ever again. Oh. Oh. Blimey. Well, I don't know why she had a go at me. Oh, it almost makes me glad I'm single. Oh, I think we all knew it was going to end in tears. Blind, am How come I never saw the signs? Oh, come on. You were too close to it, that's all. Maybe if you'd seen it from the outside. What? I didn't mean... Did you know that there was something going on between them? I just noticed a few looks and that. I had my suspicions. So you thought... That my boyfriend, who I was about to buy a house with, might be sleeping with another fella and you never thought to mention it to me. I didn't have any proof. What did you want me to say? Something! Anything! God, is there anyone in my life who's straight with me? Pardon the pun. Maria. Oh, get out! Come no! Don't be like this. We're mates like you, who meets enemies, eh? Actually lying, why would you go on TV and have a lie detector test? If you've got nothing better to do today, you can help me get this lie. <sighs> Maddie, what is wrong with you today? Nothing. <sighs> Seriously, not this again. How many times do I have to tell you you are welcome here? Oh, are you? Yeah. Your mum can't get enough of me and my armpits, can she? The way she looks at me, like I'm messing up a perfect 
family. Perfect family. My sister is in London trying to become the next Amy Child. My dad lived in Germany for a year with my half-brother and my mum is now shacked up with a window cleaner. You and Ben have got it pretty easy compared to me. Can you not just leave me in peace to watch my show? Oh, here we go. Result of the lie detector. Of course he's sleeping with your sister, you daft cow. What are you doing? I'm sick of you feeling sorry for yourself. I am not. Right, you're missing Ben, right? Maybe. Right, so what are you waiting for, Maddy? Ring his foster parents and see if we can go and see him. I'm supposed to be on a delivery. You don't have to babysit me, you know I'm all right. Do you want me to pick Liam up for you? Kirk, I'm not an invalid. It's my heart that's been broke, not my legs. <laughs> Did I really just say that? <clears throat> oh, I need some sleep. I could give him his tea and all. Joseph loves seeing him. No, you're all right. Why should his little life be disrupted? It will be, though, won't it? I thought the world of Marcus. Don't bite me head off, but... I think you should talk to Marcus. Get it all out. Might make it easier to move on. If you need anything. Thanks, Kurt. Hiya. All right. What a day. Yeah. Don't worry about Maria. She was just lashing out. She was really angry. I know. She'll calm down. Look, I'm going to have my tea and then I'm going to get back to Gary's for an hour. Why? What for? Well, I've got to catch up with the paperwork. I don't want Kev thinking I've let things go. Actually, you could help me. I could bring you back in. We'll both oh, go... Oh, no, I don't know. I need to go and see why. But I thought you were going to talk to him. I did. Well, I tried, but we sort of got distracted. <sighs> So I said, Mum, that Kevin swears he's posted that letter. So she goes, oh, you mean the letter about the house? Hiya. Hiya, love. Well, where did you put it? Is this the letter of Kevin? Yeah. In a biscuit tin, in a cupboard, above the oven. For safekeeping, she says. I mean, give me strength. Ah, we've not booked a table because we thought Wednesday not going to be that busy. Just hoping you can squeeze us in. Would you like a drink at the bar first? Yes, no, please. Thanks. Right, I'll show you a table then. And can we have a wine list, please, Stella? We're gonna do red or white at the Rovers. I asked for a rosé once and they just slung a bit of each in the same glass. Look, I don't know why you've got a face on you. Ben was really pleased to see you, you know. I know, it's just... It's hard saying goodbye, that's all. Yeah, it's... I'm sorry, I'm such a misery, but sometimes... Oh, tell me about it. Um, why don't I make tea tonight and say thank you? You, cook. Yeah, it's top of the class in home economics at school. Oh, yeah, you in school. <laughs> oh, seems like there's a bit more room in here today. Yes, uh, dismantled most of the northwest terrain. Yeah, it had no purpose other than the scenic, and it was making it difficult to watch news night sitting down. Right. And having removed that, uh, it created something of an imbalance with the southeastern hills, so I removed those two. Do you care for a cup of tea? Yes. yes. Cheers. Chesney came round earlier. He's turned into a very kind hearted and decent young man. Well, you both have. Though, uh, in your case, a young woman, of course. Yes, I I'm not sure without you two, I'd really have. Too much to look forward to. There's a lot of people love you, Roy. More than you know. And we miss you. W would you like to see the train set in motion before I finish putting it away? Yeah, yeah. why not? <sighs> wow, I can see why Chesney was impressed. Sounds like he'll be glad to be back anyway. Well, I just can't imagine him living in Germany. Wonder if he's picked up any of the language. Oh, you can guarantee he'll know the German for mine's a pine. Mine is ein pine. Oh, very lingua franca. Where did you pick that up? Oh, I don't know. I've uh, been around a bit. I'll just give Chef your order. Oh, what's with the face? It's Kevin. Everyone's busy, mate. Oh, get involved. He's just a normal bloke like you are. I mean, he can be a little bit... Well, 
possessive's too strong a word. Territorial, a temper, you know, short fuse. I wouldn't say that he was a violent man. I mean, that time that he got banged up for assault, that was just a one-off. Assault? <laughs> Winding you up. You're gonna get on with him like a house on fire. You'll be having a pint and playing darts with him before you know it. <laughs> right, well, I just spoke to Kevin about the mix up, and he says he's not gonna kick us out, but he just wants one of the bedrooms. Well, which one? Go on, you can have mine. I'll keep him with Jason till we find somewhere else. Oh, as long as you're all right. Do you know what? I never dreamt at my age I'd be waiting on tables and looking for flats to rent like a flaming student. Do you need a hand? Nope. Um... Have you got a potato peeler? Oh, yes, somewhere. Just tell me where it is. Just tell me. Yeah, it's in there. What are you making, anyway? Shepherd's pie. From scratch? It's only minced potato and veg. You never made one. Well, I've took the cellophane off one from Dev's before putting it in a microwave. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not very good at saying thank you. You don't have to say thank you. I'm OK, then. Uh, is that it? OK. Thank you for everything. Maddie, you're not going to cry, are you? <laughs> Come on, it's all right. The shepherd's back and wait. <laughs> Hi. You didn't tell me what happened earlier. Look, I know we probably went about this all the wrong way. Oh, do you reckon? I haven't got time for this. I'm going to see Maria. Never mind about her. What about me and you? Why are you making this so difficult? Oh, you think this is difficult? I've just destroyed Maria's life and you think you've got it tough? You make it sound like you didn't have a choice. No, I had a weak moment and you took advantage. What is this, a, a Jane Austen novel? You're saying if it hadn't been me, would you've gone the next year, five years? 50 years without going with another guy? Give me a break. At least tell me where you're staying. With a mate from work. A straight mate. Oh, please don't tell me you're jealous. Wine left. No. Marcus still won't talk to me. What did you expect? Might have been a bit of fun for you, but his whole world's been turned upside down. A bit of fun? If I wanted a bit of fun, I'd go to Canal Street and cop off in five minutes flat. Mm, and they say romance is dead. Just get this through your head. I want Marcus, and I know he wants me. I don't care what anyone else thinks, not you, not Jason, not that simpering little hairdresser. We're going to be together, and you can put money on it. Thanks for agreeing to see me. It's Kirk's idea. I've got two minutes. I've only just got Liam to sleep. What have you told him? I don't think he's quite ready for the truth yet, Eve. So 
Besides, that's none of your business anymore. When I said I loved you, I meant every single word. You've got to believe that. So at least we told you it was just a one-off, was it? Or a last bash with the other team before you settled down with me? No. I love you, but I was struggling with my real feelings and then Todd came along and I... Please. Don't tell me that you've fallen for him. No! I, I don't know. I, I, I'm so confused right now. I... You're confused? Oh, that's a good one. Maria, I don't want to end things like this. You don't get to choose anymore. So you stay away from me. And you stay away from Liam. Now get out. I said, get out. Ever wondered how Robson Green, Anne McPartland and Keith Lemon got started? We're digging out their TV debuts in the vaults tonight. You saw them here first is next. Then the obvious answers aren't always right as Ronnie and Joe are about to find out in Law & Order UK later at night.